Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability and counting principles. Okay, a true-false test contains eight questions. How many ways can the quiz be answered if a person were just to guess? I suggest you pause this video right now and come up with an answer because it's really interesting to see the answers people come up with and then come up with the right answer because it's always it's always wrong. Now, sometimes students get it, but usually people are off by a huge factor. Okay, so if you paused, welcome back. And if you didn't, shame on you, you should always try. Always have a guess. It's always fun to see if you were right. It says, hint, use a tree to help. Well, the way you use a tree is you do each step of the tree is a guess. So if this was a one question quiz, you're either gonna answer true or false on that quiz. That would be one question. Well, if you answered true on the quiz for the first question, for the second question, you are either going to answer true or false. If you answered false for your first question, you're either gonna answer true or false, which means at our first step, we either had one of two ways we could have answered it. By the second question, there was four ways, four outcomes. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Okay. So next, if there was a third question, again, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So now, if this were just three questions instead of eight, there would be eight different outcomes. That's with just three questions, but this isn't a three question quiz. This is an eight question quiz. So let's see, to get from three questions to eight, what we did is we took the two possible answers for the first question times the two possible questions for the second, two possible answers for the third, and two times two times two is eight. Well, we have five more questions, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we continue to have two possible answers per question. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we end up with two to the eight as the total number of ways this quiz could be answered if you are purely going to guess. And two to the eight is 512. So you could really think of this as 512 different answer keys. That's just on an eight question quiz. All right, well, what if instead of two options, there were four options? So now we're bumping up your options here. Now, if you've taken the ACT, you were probably told if you can eliminate two questions, it's worth guessing, but if you can't, move on. And this is really what it is. If there's four options, don't guess, but if you can eliminate two, it's worth guessing. So let's see what happens here. Same idea, there's eight questions, but now there's four options per question. So we're multiplying each level by four so now, instead of two to the eight, it's four to the eight, and four to the power eight is 65,536 uh, possibilities. So if we compare these, that's a big difference. And this is why they say if you can eliminate two, it might be worth guessing, but if you can't eliminate two, yeah, that's eight questions. One in 65,000 possibility of guessing those eight correct. 512, much better odds. So this is why you were told only guess if you can eliminate a couple of the options. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.